last week we had just done our review of one of 2022's most highly anticipated films. You two come poking around where you don't belong, and I can't have that. Run! But a lot of people were looking forward to this, and a lot of people looking forward to this to either love it or hate it. <laughs> no. Why do why do you flash me? <laughs> I don't know. Would you like to tell me? I, I will say I, I've seen this and I did like it. I still think John Mulaney and Andy Samberg are miscast in their respective roles. But overall, it it, it I thought it had a great story and I thought how they used the cameos and references and also the commentary on animation. It felt like this was also written by just like an animator. Yeah, you know, had a lot to say. I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, I walked away uh, liking it more than I didn't. I'll give it a matinee. Yeah, you kind of gave what I gave it. I gave it between a matinee and a high matinee. I really, mm-hmm. I, I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. Uh, I watched yeah. some of it again because I enjoyed some of it so much. But, you know, you think that would be a plus. All right, so people aren't really hating as much as uh, they thought they would. Because yeah. a lot of people felt like you. Yeah. Some people say, it was like garbage. And some people are like, hey, you know, it looks fine. But a lot of people are actually enjoying this, uh, me included. But, you know... Man, we just can't have nice things. Man. <laughs> you know, somebody got to find something. Somebody got to say something. But this might, if, if, if it's not a valid point to be made here, there is something very interesting going on with this movie. Okay. It actually might be a good thing that this is brought up because anybody who's watched Disney for years, anybody who, I'm talking about like, you, 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 are, hard, you are either a hardcore Disney fan Disney phobe and you've watched every Disney thing or you came up when I was coming up you had the Disney channel and they did all these reruns of old cartoons, old movies old shows and some faces you recognize not animated faces but some real faces out there and a lot of people might recognize this face now some people are recognizing this face right here of this kid and they're like oh man that's that sweet kid that was always popping up in those Disney movies and, and, and shows and whatnot. and some people looking at this and saying Oh, man, this kid, this poor guy. People, that's Bobby Driscoll. And, uh, you know, Bobby Driscoll might have a little bit of a, might have a little bit of a, uh, he might be a little, he might be a touchy subject for some people. But things that are not even his fault. He was, uh, he was that racist little white boy who was going to see Uncle Remus <laughs> to hear, to hear <laughs> stories being told in the Song of the South. A little racist ass <laughs> right there. Uh, no, you know, I, this is at a time when they made this, and I guess this was, he didn't know any better. He was just a kid making movies with Disney because Disney saw him. I forgot what the story was, but Disney did say that he looked like that at the time, you know, when America, everybody thought America looked a certain way. Sure. How he's that all American Norman little, Rockwell, Norman looking. little boy who who would just sit back and dream about pirates mm-hmm. and adventure. And he's like, that's the kind of kid that I would like, and some of the th- things that we have done. But there is a very tragic story behind him. A very tragic story, more tragic than a lot of the child actor stories that you hear today. Jesus, a lot of those are very tragic. This is one. This is one of them. I mean, this this is up there. You know, I'm talking about if you've heard some really bad childhood, uh, childhood actors tragedies and yeah. stories, this, this is uh, I'll put this like in my top three, not to not to not to diminish anybody else's misery of life, but th- like this was cold, man. What happened to this kid? So Bobby Driscoll, you know, as of all like all kid actors, they grow up. Yeah, and it reached a point where, after the stuff that this kid was in, because he as long as he was uh, as long as he was a. Uh, uh, as long as he was like this fresh-faced, you know, cute little boy, then they were cool with that. Other things you might have seen him in are, you know, this is this is a deep dive here, but so dear to my heart, which is something that showed back in the day when I had the Disney Channel all the time. He knoweth every sparrow that falleth. She hates black people. Let's that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kid that bonds with his lamb that I think was sick or was going to die or something. But he was that kid there. Uh, some of you might recognize him. And I saw this movie a lot when I was a kid. This was this was considered to be a you know the equivalent of a blockbuster back like in the fifties or forties. I think I think it was in the fifties. Uh, Disney did a version of Treasure Island. Mm. Oh yeah. If you don't stop, I'll run to town for the doctor. Ah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Man, the way he's got that pug nose, he looks like he could play Peter Pan right there. Well, it's funny because, Martin, he was. He was the guy that voiced Peter Pan at one time. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's him and... Uh, and Walt. Yeah, it's him and Walt right there, and that's him in costume. Uh, you know, uh, uh, doing Peter Pan. Of course, he did the the voice of Peter Pan. Let me see, I had a clip of that now. But Peter, how do we get to Neverland? Fly, of course. Of course. You know, that... It looks like the character's modeled after him. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's why he's in that suit. Okay. You know, they, they, they used a lot of visual reference. Here's where the controversy comes up. So, this... At, at the age of 31, they don't know what happened. Like, he... So, Bobby Driscoll, as he got older, the roles dried up a little bit. Uh, he started doing TV stuff. And the reason why he really got kicked out of Disney, Disney was not his own studio at the time. They were owned by RK, RKO. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And Howard Hughes ran that. He fed the money to Disney Studios. Uh -huh. And he said, and you know what? I hate kid actors. Mm -hmm. I hate that fucking Bobby Driscoll. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And so they didn't renew his contract. In fact, they just kind of tore up his contract, and the way Bobby Driscoll found out, he was going to the studio one day, and they had locked his ass out. Oh. Jeez. Thing about Bobby, Bobby just liked heroin. A lot. Oh, mm. Yeah, Bobby loved heroin, man. And some people are saying, like his mom was saying, like, well, he was such a good kid at one time, he didn't have a chance to just break out, and he just, when he, when he broke bad, he went hard with it. Uh, you know, he was saying, like, you know, expectations for you being this is Bobby Driscoll just expectations for you being a a kid actor a kid celebrity is high right and it's just kind of you know it's kind of hard um and then some other people say no nah, you know what Bobby just like he just like heroin <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people do they say, yeah, they yeah. Say, you know he, we, man, a lot of people fall in love with it yeah mm -hmm. they said man we tried to tell him and he just wouldn't listen and you know so Bobby kind of brought that on himself mm. uh what happened though here's the real tragedy they found him in, I'm not Martin, like, more? Yeah. Man. Yeah. I thought we hit it. No, no. Here's, what, here's the fate of Bobby Driscoll, man. So two kids were playing around in an abandoned building in, 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 in uh, Williamsburg, and they found this dead body on this little makeshift ratty bed mm -hmm. surrounded by a bunch of beer bottles and these little religious pamphlets. And the police came in. They couldn't identify him. They didn't know who he was. Uh, they did identify the cause of death as hardening of the arteries. Yeah. Heroin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it took years for it to come out that this is who it was. So they buried him in a, in a pauper's grave, man, mm -hmm. unmarked. And uh, now today, because there's a bunch of graves up there, they don't even know which grave is his. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, don't, they can't even, like the family can't even go over there and find the guy. So where does the controversy come in? Well, the, the kid played Peter Pan. And so now, <laughs> you know, you got this. So now you got this uh, uh, movie, Chip and Dale, where you have Peter Pan who, grew <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who, who grew up to be like this washed-up uh, kid actor who says, "Man, I was those were the happiest days of my life, and now look at me. I just have to turn to a life of crime." <laughs> I got cast in the biggest movie in the world as the boy who wouldn't grow up. Then I got older. And they threw me away like I. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm, those similarities. So people are saying, now, did y'all know this is oh, this a is on, this man. a is 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 this is this coincidence? Or are you just being kind of shitty and cold about this? Um, and they, I'm sure it was a I'm sure it was a, a coincidence. But you know, if it is coincidence, maybe this is a good thing. Because this is this this once again has renewed interest in Bobby Driscoll. Sure, sure, it brings awareness. Yeah. yeah, because people have been they got they have these these groups that are tr they've been trying for years to get Disney to recognize Bobby Driscoll. They right. said, you know, you recognize all these greats, and you recognize one woman, uh, Mary Blair, who was an artist for Disney, and she she was an alcoholic, mm -hmm. and they still recognize her. So they said, so what? You know, the the whole thing is like. Their background or what they did is not a big thing unless they just done something horrible. Well, they can make Howard Hughes the heavy in this. Yeah. And he was yeah. crazy. So anything yeah. you can say he yeah. did, people are like, yeah, of course. Easy scapegoat. Easy to blame. Yeah. Yeah, man. So and I, hopefully this will like bring more awareness and get Disney to actually recognize this kid because he's been on a, been a lot of stuff, man. He's, it's a very horrible and tragic story. They can't even find a... 
I don't even think they can find the Academy Award that he won. His junior award? Uh, yeah. Probably sold it. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, he sold it for heroin or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God damn. That would have been the first thing to go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? I, I mean, he's right. You're right. I, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, just some facts for you. You can get a lot of heroin with that, I bet. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to ruin people's day. And it's day. been passed around, and who knows who has it. Oh, yeah. that's good. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that is true. That is true. I would love to see if it popped up again, but it just saying, just Disney, just recognize a guy. You know, put him in your history of recognize people that actually added to the success of Disney at the sure. time. Shit, this just kind of ruined shit for me. <laughs> <laughs> ruined multiple movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be sad every time I watch these things, man. I'm not going to be able to watch Peter Pan again. <laughs>